Hey guys, Shanky here. Today I'm going to show you a 100% efficient factory design for plastic and rubber. When it comes to rubber and plastic, dealing with the byproducts is the key to efficiency. Heavy oil residue can be used to craft a number of different things depending on the needs and the alternate recipes you have. In my case, I will be making an aluminum factory soon, which is why I decided to convert the residue into petroleum coke. Also, I know what you're thinking, building refineries on top of each other might be a stupid idea, considering its height is 8 walls tall and also all the pumps you'd have to add to get the fluid up there. But one of the main issues I have with refineries is the amount of space the factories based on them take up. And this channel has always been about reducing that footprint, so a few pumps, 8 to be exact, are a necessary sacrifice for me. So with that being said, let's get into the numbers. For this factory, you will need an input of 360 crude oil per minute, and that will be separated into two pipes of 120 and 240 oil per minute. We'll be using 16 refineries, 8 for plastic, 4 for rubber, and 4 for the coke, which will be producing a total of 160 plastic, 80 rubber, and 480 coke per minute. The build-in question is extremely simple. You need a 4x7 space. First, we're going to start by putting up walls around the perimeter, leaving one space here for a gate, or you could use a single wall conveyor, your choice. We're going to call the face of the building with this gate the front of the building, and the opposite side the back. Now, we're going to place the four refineries for the coke. Make sure the output is facing into the center of the factory, and that the four refineries are placed in the corner. Place mergers in line and in the direction of the gate and connect it up. Coke is produced at 120 per minute for each refinery. Make sure to use the right belts. At the end, we'll want a Mark IV belt. If you haven't unlocked that yet, you can make the two mergers separate into two 240 belts. Take the pipe wall hole and place it on the wall with the input. Or you could use a pipe pole and clip it into the wall. Don't forget to connect. Also, I won't be adding any wires for electricity, so remember to do that too. Now place walls 8 high. Since we already had one wall placed, add 7 more. Make another floor with platforms of your choosing. Now in the middle column, we're going to place a pipe joint in the middle of the two platforms, and two on either side of this, right on the edge of the building. Add walls around. Add a wall hole in line with the pipe joint, and then more holes in line with the wall holes of the previous refineries. Then connect them up. Then connect the outside wall holes together like this. Ignore that the build is magically bigger. In truth, I forgot to connect those up when I was building. I just edited it so that it looks in order. Cover up. Place a set of walls all around. Now 
Now we're going to place six refineries with the outputs facing into each other. We're going to place another wall hole right here. And then pipe joints in line with that to gather all the heavy oil residue. We're going to connect this to the residue distribution floor right below this floor. We're also going to add another wall hole at the other end to bring the heavy oil residue from the next floor down to here. Place a column of platforms in the middle. The first four refineries from the front of the building will be for rubber and the last two will be for plastic. Add a double wall conveyor, then in line with the left socket place a merger on the far side exclusively for the plastic refineries. In line with the right socket place a merger for the rubber refineries. To avoid clipping, we're going to keep this merger three mergers high, then connect everything up. Place a double wall conveyor on the opposite side as well and connect the plastic line to it. Time for walls again and the foundations for the next floor. Okay, so this next floor is the repetition of the previous floor. So add walls, refineries, wall holes and connect them to the refinery. Add pipe joints for the oil residue. Make sure this wall hole is on the back side of the building so you can connect it to the previous floors. Column of foundation. Double wall conveyor on the back side of the building. Place mergers leading into this. And then connect with the lift to the previous floor. Make sure to place the correct mark for the lift and conveyor otherwise you're going to end up backing it up. Walls. Assigning the work and roof. 
All right, now that you have most of the building done, it's time to do the plumbing. So I'm gonna assume that you have the pipes from the back of the building, although this doesn't really matter. You can keep it wherever you like. It won't change things much. So here, the pipe on the right is gonna have 120 crude oil per minute, and the left will have 240 per minute. We're gonna extend this until it's above the top floor's refinery inputs. Then we're going to turn the 240 pipe around this corner like this. And the 120 pipe to the right like this. I'm not going to commentate much of this, just follow along for now. Each refinery takes an input of 30 crude oil. So in this pipeline, there are two refineries connected. So that's 60. Then here we have four, so that's 120. Total of which is 180, which leaves 60 left. This we're gonna to move to the opposite side of the building. Now let's work on the other side of the building.
Okay, so on this side, we have the 120 pipe connected to the four different refineries. So 4 times 30 is 120, so that's good. Then the 60 from the other side is split amongst two other refineries. Alright, now let's add some pumps. As you can see, the pump does reach everywhere. This is really good quality of life update they've done. Now, even though all the refineries are connected up, the oil won't flow to them in equal proportions. To fix that, we're going to add valves to limit the amount of fluid going to each joint so that it makes everything easier. Of course, you could just add a valve set to 30 at every single refinery input, but I'm just going to keep what's necessary. So this first line, I'm going to keep a valve set to 60. Make sure you keep the directions facing down. These valves also act as check valves, so be careful with that placement. Then I'm going to keep another valve on the second line set to 120. After the first joint, I'm going to keep another valve set to 60. Coming to the other side, for the 120 oil per minute line, I'm going to add a valve set to 90 under the first joint. And then one more valve under the first division set, 30. Coming to the front of the building, I'm going to place an awesome sink that will take the 480 coke for now, at least until I finish building the aluminum setup. Then I'm going to bring the plastic and rubber line down, keeping it just above the coke line to avoid clipping. As you can see, the power line is straight and everything is functioning correctly. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate the support. I will be uploading a really simple mall design to keep all items for storage and easy access. If you have any ideas for builds or if you have made some really cool designs, I'd love to see them. Just comment down below and let me know. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.